it's amazing how quickly Hyperledger has developed and evolved over the past few years. I was wondering if you could tell me a bit about the journey of how Hyperledger has come to be. So the Hyperledger project began when a set of companies who were starting to pay attention to this Bitcoin space, this cryptocurrency space, this blockchain space, approached the Linux Foundation and said, let's do a project together. The Linux Foundation has been at the heart of the Linux ecosystem, uh, bringing together companies and developers to try to you know, serve, say, air traffic control to the development of a common technology platform and over the last few years has grown into other related technology spaces. Software-defined networking, cloud computing, all these kinds of things, domains that also needed this focused effort to bring these two kinds of communities together. So it's very natural when companies like IBM or even new ones that had never worked with the Linux Foundation before like JP Morgan or startups in the space like Digital Asset when they started to talk with each other and, 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 and try to figure out where a good home for this would be, they approached the Linux Foundation, right? So some conversations got started and there was a sense that what was interesting about this space wasn't so much the cryptocurrencies and, and you know, the make money fast kind of mentality, but the underlying distributed ledger and smart contract technology platforms, right? The, and there was still a lot of hard work to do to figure out the right approaches to this. So uh, in December of 2015, um, the Linux Foundation, in conjunction with those companies and about 30 more, announced the launch of the Hyperledger effort, right? the Hyperledger project, which we really just call Hyperledger now. Um, the first code drop, meaning the first release of software, happened just two months later in February of 2016 when the Fabric code base came over, initially it had been built inside of IBM, but when it came over, it was now part of the community, right? Followed soon after by Sawtooth Lake. And it wasn't just code. The community started to meet face-to-face -face, uh, on a pretty regular basis, about once every two months. Uh, and this was because there was a lot to sort out, a lot uh, of knowledge to share. Uh, I joined in May of 2016, so a little bit of a latecomer, I guess, to the launch of it. Uh, but I joined partly because I saw how transparent and how engaging, um, even from day one, all of these processes had been.